Do you want to go work on the bus? Um, last time I built the bed on the bus and that was one of those big jobs that's just really fun to get done but I am left with a ton of little projects really little jobs and this entire video is dedicated to the small jobs that need to get done on the prison bus All right, so that's like the third time I've had to come up on top of the bus and sweep off the black walnuts. Awesome. So let me just jump in here and say a few things about these lights because I don't think it's going to be totally clear what I'm doing. I've got two big switches on the left there and the first one lights these lights up on top. These are all going to be uh, 110 lights 
and I'm going to make those in a minute. You'll see that. Uh, the second switch here is a 12 volt uh, switch. That guy is going to run off my battery. That means when you walk in the bus, you can flip that little 12 volt switch if you want to and run LEDs off the battery, off grid, whatever, or you can run on the 110s. Before setting those lights up, I had to do a few little tweaks in the back. You remember in the bed area, I had these LEDs laid out, but I didn't hook them up. So I went ahead and hooked them up. I actually had to replace the switch that I used last time. Uh, the switch I had last time looked really cool, but it was just bogus and cheap. These LEDs were interesting. I had a big bank and actually my 12 volt power, I guess it didn't have enough amps. It only set up, it only lit up about uh, six bays of these LEDs. So I just cut it down and uh, six bays is actually a pretty good amount of light. The light, like all LEDs, is kind of bluish white or whatever, but it's pretty good. Uh, this is the new 12 volt switch back there. And uh, I just got a steel one and it'll have a rubber gasket on the top like the other one and it, it'll work pretty well. Uh, those lights now are running. So in the back area, similarly, there's 12 volt lights and 110 shore power lights. So kind of like two systems everywhere you go. All right, so on a rainy day after work, I went back into the shop and started to try to fabricate some cool lights for that uh, one side of the bus. I'll show you in a sketch. These are lights that go kind of over my folding couch and will just illuminate that front end of the bus. And my first idea was just to make a basic sconce like this, uh, but you'll see that I ended up fabricating three or four or five different versions of these lights because they just weren't quite working out perfectly. I just want to show you I've got like a ton of these LEDs that people sent me over the years to test out and I've just been playing with these big banks. These are all 12 volt LEDs. Uh, some light up in different colors, some remote control, etc. So I was kind of playing with these with my light setup to see what would look really good. And the first thing I did is I made, uh, for light number one, I made kind of like a, a very uh, low shallow rack out of this perforated steel that came out of the ceiling. And I think that might work somewhere else in the bus, but it wasn't gonna be a really good bright lighting option for up front. So I ditched light number one, went with light number two, which was going to be a aluminum sconce, just like a simple aluminum kind of shield over a bare bulb. And uh, light number two, I cut out of this aluminum I've been using for all kinds of things. This has come off of various places in the bus. So I cut three seven by seven squares out of aluminum, uh, drilled holes in them, and then immediately realized that my holes just weren't perfectly lined up and it was just kind of annoying me. It was one of those things like you don't really see it until you see it and then when you do you can't unsee it. So light number three, I cannibalized light number two, made some strips and made a little weaving out of aluminum. This is something I'm going to use in the future I think over uh, one of the hall lights. We'll see how that works out. But again, this woven light um, shield idea, I think it was kind of cool, but it just didn't look quite right. It wasn't what I was going for for the front of the bus. You can see that it, it does let a lot of light through, but it just had a little bit more of an organic look than I was looking for. So anyway, I got a cereal box out and the biggest pair of scissors I own and made light number four. Uh, light number four ended up working out pretty well, and that's ultimately what I, what I went with. Uh, what I did with the cereal box is I made a kind of dummy or a demo up front and sort of made it in place. I, I cut this guy up out of the cereal box, folded the cardboard, and really got it dialed in, I think, not only with the light, but also a box built in for the wires. So I think it's a pretty good setup. I like it. I like the look of it. It's still a little bit raw and crude and prison bus. It's made out of the old aluminum from the bus. Uh, but in the same way, it ha at the same time, it has kind of a clean design to it. I also realized that cutting aluminum with the grinding wheel, while it works, the best way to do it is just with your jigsaw. Oh my gosh, it took me forever to learn that trick, and I very quickly cut these guys out with the jigsaw, quickly and more accurately. Again, I was making three lights. These are the blanks that needed to be drilled for the holes. I wanted perforations on the front to let some light out, not too much. 
and uh, then they needed to be bent. And I made most of the bends using my uh, pipe clamp vise that's on the front of my workbench, but I had to improvise one of them and I managed it uh, just using my table. So you can bend this aluminum with just about anything. Actually, some of these bends were barehanded. And this last little detail you're seeing is I just made some small brackets to be able to fasten these lights to the walls inside the prison bus. I'm gonna rivet these brackets to the lights and I think I'll screw the lights to the walls. That way I can pull them on and off uh, whenever I want to. All right, these are the three lights uh, pretty much put together. I'm still debating if I'm gonna put a rivet up here to kind of hold this together. I think it might be cleaner to just leave it. This is up on the top and you sort of barely see that. Um, I'm not sure if you saw this when I was building this, so I thought I'd just mention it. Uh, this is the wiring box, so this will kind of screw in like this and the housing for the light is sort of right here. I'll have a hole for the light itself, the light unit, and this will hold the wiring uh, these are going to be wired in a series, so, so it's one, two, three. I think the the wires are going to come in the side and go out the side. They might come in the top and go out the top, whatever. But um, this is the basic look of it. Um, I'll put it in front of this light here, so you can sort of get a feel for it. You know, it obscures uh, some of the light on the sides, which is the idea, and then most of the light goes downwards. Um, one thing is that there's going to be a different bulb in here. I'm going to do E11s in this guy instead of these big lights. So, you know, they're going to look different than that. Anyway, this is where I'm at right now. Alright, so that's it for this build. I've got these guys ready to go, but uh, I don't want to install them yet because I need to do some painting. So next up is some painting. I will do some painting, uh, get the roof of this, roof? No, ceiling of this bus cleaned up so that I can put these lights in place and do some other little detail work. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. I did a lot of odds and ends this time, and I appreciate you watching. I keep a feed of pictures on Instagram if you want to check that out, if you're an Instagram kind of person. And I also have a small blog on Patreon where I talk about stuff like this and, uh, you know, kind of like talk about my philosophy, why I make the decisions I make. What do I do when I make mistakes, etc. All right, uh, hit me with a comment down below if you're up for it. And I appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next build video.